What up everyone, my name is Storm and today's video is another request where we're going to be creating the generator kicking build for the killer Sadako and the build is Deadlock, Ball of Brine, Discordance and Dragon's Grip and the add-ons that we're going to be playing in this video is Iridescent Videotape hitting a survivor in 8 seconds after manifesting the last four TVs are turned off by the projection then the other add-on which is Cabin Sign which is the time for a TV to turn on after projection by minus 12 seconds Seconds. It's going to be crazy how the survivors were cranking out the generators extremely fast. Then this one mistake cost them the game. But before we do get into this video, I do have a question for you guys. What sort of Sadako build do you want to see next? Put them in the comments below. And if you guys want to watch these videos live, come check us out on Twitch. We do stream fun Tuesday to Saturdays around 5 or 6 p.m. BST. And if you want to use code STORM as Cynic Energy, it'll be much appreciated. And it'll be supporting me as a content creator. But let's get into the match. Hopefully you do enjoy. And let's get right into it. So here we go. We're going to be trying out a full-on gen kick build. Of course, we are playing Ringu in this video. So we'll see how it all plays out. So our plan is we're going to break all the doors. I've got two people on this shed upstairs. That's a bit awkward. I forgot to manifest. See, it worked out how I wanted. So we've got Call of Brian and we have got Dragon's Grip activated. I get a juicy little hit right there. Have they changed the audio? Oh, it's when you hit them. Like the TV's power on. There we go. They have finished that gen. That is the Leon. Do a little bit of mind games. There we go, they're picked up. But I've got rid of Shaq, which is good. Deadlock is activated that gen, because that gen. And then they've got the heal, we're played. She's gonna throw that pallet. No, she didn't. I thought I was gonna miss that, to be honest. He might have it. Yep. Two people on that far back gen, up top. To teleport to it, they just tapped it. He's got life. I did mess up quite a bit, I would say. All right, let's go go to that gen quick. Check when we are tunneling. I'm trying to get so much pressure on these if I can. I got stuck there. There we go. They did get the Leon up in Saloon. I don't know how I feel about this build, to be honest. Uh, the one that gen again. All right, they're already healed. They were call a brine. Hello, Snipes. How you doing, buddy? Just gonna kick that, hit that gen. Nice dead on. I'm just trying to put a lot of pressure on him. Right, they're about the park. I'm gonna leave that gen, to be honest. Still got this pallet, which I don't really want. We got the window to the left. All right, Dragon's Grip on it. We call a brine. They're already healed, which is quite scary, to be honest. Are you? I'm not doing too bad. Um, COVID sucks still, but other than that, we're not doing too bad, I would say. Uh, 
Problem is they're healing quite quick. That's the only downside. Yeah, I can't really do too much with this one. Doing pretty good. Hey, that's what I like to hear. Plus, when you get closer to them, they run off. Which is quite frustrating, to be honest, with this build. This is how weak uh, Sadako is. So she has pallets as well. She has the life. And this is game over over this gen. I know we did mess up quite a bit, like we've been in the trace for far too long. Like at the start, but it's actually crazy. Like there's barely any pressure, I would say. Oh, I forgot to get rid of this pallet. And it is a good map as well, the Get out of here. Yeah, it's just quite weak, I would say. And plus I did like slug a little bit, to be honest as well. But I would say like, ain't the strongest build, I would say this one is. And the one that final gen over there, and that's game. Makes it to the window, unfortunately. Pick it for Dragon's Grip. Like, Dragon's Grip's like very weak. And then they've got the main building as well. Like, that main building's strong. Like, I couldn't really mind game it that much. Just got him. Thank God I needed it. I don't think I think this is literally his first hook, right? Because how many times I slugged him? I think we can bring it back, but it's gonna to be tough. And I just got the hook. Yeah, that's his first hook. Because I kept um slugging him. Must I be on this run? He's gonna go off the hill. We do our dragon's grit, so we can use that. And then we'll go back to this TV. So maybe cut one of them off. We have got three people injured. Ah, oh, that's very unlucky. He's still here, that's the question. Go, he's dead. He's got sprint burst. Go for the pickup. Now we're going to call up wide on it. I literally think she's still around here. There we go. This is where it all goes down. There we go. We can definitely bring it back from this one play. I saw that she put on the new perk on that person. And that's why I turned around for a second. Nice game. That's how one mistake can cost the game. Very well played to them. That place is going to wiggle off. That's the only downside. So the reason why I turned around in this chase was this person got hit with the new perk, the reinsurance. And that's why I turned around. We might make it to basement. But that turnaround, right? Oh my God, we just got it. All right, let's quickly see if we can get our glyph in time as well. I thought we was going to lose that, to be honest. Glyph, 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 glyph. Glyph. It was tough, that game. I wouldn't rate the build. Like, the build's okay, but it did set us back, I would say. In certain situations. I would say, like, Carl O'Brien did help us a lot that game. GG, a buddy, we meet again. You all played really well. Not Wesker this time. I was awful. <laughs> you remembered. 
Yeah, Batman didn't come, sadly. They remembered us. You were really good. Thank you. Yo, know, I, I tried to play as fair as possible. I might change service providers. <laughs> uh, the reassuring just gave out your position, by the way. I can only hope. <laughs> I panicked. I was like, this person is alone. Someone is near. I turn around slowly and see you. It was my human beacon. <laughs> we saw him from afar. <laughs> we need the shine. Must be good shampoo or something. Heads and shoulders uh, shampoo. Yeah, I would say like Carla Bryan was the thing that helped us. <laughs> Literally. Well, thank you for the fun one. Good luck in your match one. Thank you and you too. Yeah, they all played really good. It's just like the mistake at the end cost them the game, I would say. I was a very shiny indeed. Hey, guy, how you doing? Welcome in. <laughs> That caught me off. <laughs> caught me off guard. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing amazing. Welcome in. That was our second game. But I would say Dragon's Grip is quite bad, I would say. Like, especially with the cooldown for 80 seconds. And once someone hit that generator, they legged it. I couldn't find them. And the only time I got the Dragon's Grip like to work was at the end. But I would say Discordance for the Intel and call Brian to help us blow the generators down but deadlock when a generator got like finished the other gen um blocked it off so that one generator that was almost done at the start was in in a way like a free gen but they all played really good so if we look at their perks we've got reinsurance off the record botany knowledge and circle of healing which i don't think i heard that game uh we'll make it life through thyself and deliverance sprint burst self-aware any means necessary and with the opportunity We've got hyper focus take out life and dance with me and they brought a good old make it but that was a really good game they all played really good i kind of panicked but like i said like anything could happen at the end game but i would say like dragon's grip might need changing in that build hopefully you did enjoy the video remember if you did hit the like button comment and subscribe while you're at it and let us know what you thought about this video and before we do end this video if you want to watch us live on twitch we do stream from tuesday to saturday Saturdays around 5 or 6 pm BST. And if you want to use code STORM at Sneak Energy, then feel free. It'll be much appreciated. More information and links will be all in the description below. But thank you for watching. Remember to stay safe, stay awesome, stay lovely, and enjoy the rest of your day or night, depending on where you are. And peace.